Good morning, Hope. Today's Psalm 20. Um, in these videos, they're pre-recorded, and as I'm looking at when this video will be watched and, and slated to um, be viewable, it's slated for Election Day, November 3rd. Uh, so if you're watching this, it should be November 3rd, unless I messed up on the scheduling. And, it, and that's, it, it's an appropriate song uh, for Election Day. Uh, and it just happened that the Spirit has worked this out this way. Um, psalm 20 is a psalm of David to the choir master. And it's it's a psalm that it's essentially it's a prayer uh, by the people for the king. Now, when David wrote this, who knows, maybe he wrote it uh, when Saul was still king. Or maybe he wrote it afterwards. We don't know. Uh, but this is a, a prayer for the king, uh, for Yahweh to assist uh, the king as well as for the people and for the king to know uh, that hope and salvation is ultimately found um, in Yahweh. And we, and we know this is a psalm uh, directed to the king. Uh, in verse 6, uh, says is anointed, um, anointed often a reference for the king of Israel. And then, of course, in verse 9, where it says, O Lord, O Yahweh, save the king. Uh, and so, regardless of how the election turns out tonight, May we pray similarly uh, for the next president, uh, for the current president. If it's the same person, pray for him. If it's a different person to be the next president, uh, let's pray for both of them uh, for the transition. Um, and let's pray for the nation, ultimately, that God would be glorified and that we would be um, a faithful uh, witness um, in the midst of such uncertainty uh, these days in our country. So, uh, verse 1, May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over your salvation and in the name of our God set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Uh, so those first five verses focus on uh, the people praying that God would answer the king and would support the king uh, as the king uh, leads his people. Um, and remember, Israel had many bad kings, bad kings. Uh, I don't think we can say that we have a president yet that has um, done the things that some of these kings have done. Now, granted, um, we do have politicians who proactively uh, push for the murder of children, that might be the closest that we can go. Uh, so, but we've had bad kings, we've had bad presidents, we, we're still called uh, to, to pray for them. Uh, that's the point there. Uh, and then the rest of it, verse 6 through 9, David continues saying, Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise and stand upright. O Lord, save the king, may he answer us when we call. So there are ultimately not only a salvation for the king found in Yahweh, but salvation for the people is found in Yahweh. Uh, the military will rise and fall. The, the might of the nation will rise and fall. But those who remain in God, they will stand. They will persevere. They will, they will endure. So let that be our hope, that regardless of how tonight turns out, regardless of what the future might hold uh, for, for America, uh, regardless of what kind of leader we might find ourselves having, uh, ultimately those of us who are faithful, um, we don't, we don't uh, stand and, and fall uh, based off of them. We stand and fall based off of Yahweh and our walk with Him. Um, and if we remain in Yahweh, if we remain in Christ, uh, we will not fall. He will keep us upright and he will hold us steadfast and we will belong to him uh, forever. So let us be encouraged. Um, let us have peace in the midst of uncertainty, in the midst of calamity. Um, and let us pray uh, for those of whom are appointed over us. All right, God bless and tomorrow we'll have Psalm 21 for you.